gentlemen, all this euphoria about native woman, one soldier, you guys will be surprised tomorrow. You are going to be victim of the same native woman, I mean native woman's son who is a soldier. Dr. Liberty was dismissed. We thought that it was mere intellectual pessimism. So we continue with our celebration. And before we knew it, a few years later, the event that Councillor Verdi just referred to on the university campus took place. Dr. Emma Sawyer, Dr. George Clake here were arrested and charged with attempting to overthrow the PRC. The students rose up, the faculty members rose up, and Dr. Mary Anthony Brown Sherman rose up with them. She was summoned to the mansion. struggle with Dr. Sawyer. Alari Tuba and myself, we were members of what we used to call the Young Militant Brigade. We were stamping all these nomenclatures on ourselves without any basis because in our frustration with our leadership, we wanted action, we wanted change, we wanted things to happen. So we went in the auditorium and started making speeches. The students were singing. And uh, the president crossed the street into the Capitol building and gave that his famous move or be removed order to Brady Allison. I had just finished speaking, and Alaric Tuba was climbing the podium to speak. When I heard gunshots, in the compound of the university campus. I ran out and then the glass up there on the TH building started breaking, coming down on me. And I said, oh my God, these guys are not scaring us, they're trying to kill us. We, the able-bodied guys, started to run. The women, the girls who were in their dormitory could not run. So when the soldiers got on campus, we know what happened. A lot of people were beating up. I saw a girl whose name I cannot remember being bayoneted by a soldier right in front of the campus after I came by way of Jala Town. The girls were stuck in their own dormitory where some of the AFL soldiers went and raped them for three days. I was shocked. In April, we were in the street celebrating Native Woman Born Soldier. Now, the Native Woman's son has sent soldiers on our campus to beat us and kill us. I want to say here, yeah, Mr. Chairman, as we go through these things, we need to look ahead. Because some of the problems that we face in this country were not brought here by the Congo people, the so called Congo people. And it is wrong for anyone to blanket all Congo people as oppressors. There are Congo people in this country, probably 90% of them, who are just as poor, if not poorer, than my father was up in Tyria. In fact, in Sino, some of the Congo people were so poor, and the Sapo people used to call them Tabayine Kui. Tabayine is like Sinton. They said the Lexington Queen is not a good queen. You need to stay queen, Jay. You say because how can it put a basket to live? If these people were so oppressive, if they were part of the oppressive ruling class, why were why were their children struggling to cross Kino in Kino to come to school? So these people were probably just like us. And when we go too much on this native Congo divide, we are likely to antagonize some of our best allies in the struggle for social justice and political freedom in this country. So when we are speaking here, uh, as, you, as you admonish all of us Liberians, 
that the 14 year crisis affected everybody regardless of your class regardless of your status regardless of your religion 